Hello, I am Catherine Marsh, author of The Lost Year. The Lost Year is a book about three cousins, two of them in 1930s Ukraine and one of them in Brooklyn, who are separated by history, by famine, by disinformation, and by immigration. I'm gonna read a short passage. This past winter, everything was different. People stayed inside, away from one another, hiding what little food they had. The village was absolutely silent. Usually, even in winter time, you'd hear a dog barking or the clop of horses' hooves. But people had eaten all the cats and dogs and horses and even the birds. I couldn't help recoiling at the thought of people eating their pets. Nadia's eyes flashed. You can stand there and make a face, but if you had been there, you would have done it too. We were starving. Forgive me, I murmured, but I couldn't shake off my horror. Mama thought about leaving, taking us to Kiev or north to Russia, where people said there was no famine, but it was impossible to buy train tickets and the new system of passports made it illegal to leave. Mama traded her wedding ring for some bread at the Turgzin shop in Bilitserkva, walked 10 miles each way through the snow. But we quickly devoured the loaves she brought home and she had nothing else to trade. We were so hungry, Mila. We had no energy to play, to work, to do anything, even cry. Just lie there in a stupor, and think about food. Mama and I ate less, gave the boys more, but it still wasn't enough. They were younger, weaker. Nadia began to sob. I rushed to embrace her. Uh, Antin died first, she choked out. He always slept next to me. February 9th, I woke up. He was already cold. I screamed, but what could Mama do? She closed his eyes, made the cross over him. Mikola was too tired to cry. The next evening, he died in Mama's arms. By this time, I was crying too. These boys were my cousins, my flesh and blood, and Papa had done nothing but turn his back on them. I'm sorry, I whispered. I'm sorry. For what? The state starved our family, murdered them, Nadia said. What could you have done, even as a child of privilege? Nothing. But Papa was the state, and I had been eating chocolates while my cousins starved. I had a sudden crazy urge to run off to Bilitserkva with all the food I could carry, but I'd be stopped, maybe even arrested. Nadia was right. There was nothing I could do, or almost nothing. Someday. Will you show me their graves? I whispered. That's the thing. Nadia's voice broke. We couldn't even bury them properly. No one had the strength to dig graves, so we buried them in a common one. Mama wasn't right after that. She hardly ate, giving me what scraps we had left. Lomachenko, she said one night with a bitter laugh. Even our name means scrap. Nadia's eyes met mine. You know that, don't you? Lum is a scrap. I'd never thought about it, I said. I'd never thought about any of this. Thank you.